Taurus, this is Grisel with Psychic MD, and I'm here to do your Friday the 13th reading. That's right, that's what's up. So, I have a new deck, and I wanted to go ahead and read a little bit for you today. And this is just going to pertain to some trigger statements that perhaps we're used to making, consciously or subconsciously. It may or may not apply to you. We'll find out, right? I want to tell you. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. We already got a jump. First thing is first. These are trigger statements and they also work with essential oils. This deck is called Essential Oil Oracle Cards, meaning that it is brand new to me. I may not pronounce things properly, but I'm going to attach it at the very end so you can know exactly what essential oils we're talking about. Okay. So without further ado, if you can please do like, share, comment, subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Also, let me know if any of this resonated or if you work with essential oils currently. I'm very interested. You already got a jump card, Taurus, so let's see. I would love to know what is going on for my gorgeous Taurus friends. What do they need to know? What can help them for the month of August? We are well on our way there. Today's what? The 12th? No, 13th. I just said Friday 13th. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're taking this one, this one, and one more. And I'm also going to pull an energy deck to, uh, energy deck, an energy card to pull them all together for you. So any messages, helpful messages for Taurus, please. All right. I'm going to take the jumper first because that's how we do. And it says, a line, I feel conflicted. That's a trigger statement, okay? The true statement is, I am true to my highest self. Um, the essential oil is called centering. And it says, a line, your focus needs to turn within to reflect on stories that are not true for you. Love is a way through. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna tell you, Taurus, that the first thing that happened is this card just jumped out. I feel like the majority of you guys, this is kind of the opposite of the meaning of the card because it jumped out reverse. And you can still work with this um, essential oil call centering. I'm sure it's a brand or something. I'm not affiliated, but focusing on your heart chakra. And I feel like because it came out reverse, a lot of you guys are already working on centering your lives letting things go that are not true for you old narratives old stories old direction um and realizing that love is a way through now for me Taurus, i'm not gonna lie when i see love is a way through well the answer is just love and i'm like what the hell what the hell like what does that mean i don't get it and the more i think about it i mean like love is a way through to so many things i'm like okay with love you can cure you can turn away a harsh word you can do so many things um and some people you know say god is love and so whatever it is that you're thinking my first thought in after the initial what the hell is love is the way through and it's like you know what finding your purpose your love your drive whatever makes your heart grow and thrive and that is love ultimately do you like how i put that on there Makes no sense but you're welcome um taurus so align yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys, once again, are, you're finding your passion, your drive, perhaps even your dream. For those of you that are not currently aligned, that is the way to go. And again, I'm gonna attach all of these cards, the um, essential oil cards that I just pulled for you at the end of your reading so that you can actually see them for yourself and enjoy them. The next card is the trigger statement here. Here we go. I am somewhere else. What the heck? The true statement is right here. Now, everything is perfect. That even feels foreign to my mouth, okay? Right here, now, everything feels perfect. Now, the essential oil affiliated is grounding. And this is your root chakra, rooted, okay? So maybe getting grounded, getting rooted. Let's talk about it. Allow your energy to shift the material plane where it is needed to help you complete what you have set to do so basically what it is that you love allow that energy to shift whatever isn't benefiting this love part it's good to perhaps like drop it so you need to ground yourself 
Taurus, so I'm not a Taurus, but I need to ground myself and um, allow my material plane to shift where it is needed in order to achieve my higher purpose, okay? So we have heart chakra addressed, we've got the root chakra addressed, and the next trigger statement, the last one for you today is, I'm under attack. Hmm. The true statement is, I'm strong. So maybe you are feeling attacked, okay? Maybe you, some of you guys are undergoing even psychic attacks, could be verbal attacks, people really focused on the now, whatever the case may be. Regardless, you're under divine protection. Now, one thing I want to share with you is I work a lot with energy. You may or may not resonate with this. One thing that I picture is like this continual energetic vortex looping around me, entering the crown of my chakra to the very bottom of my feet, looping all the way back and circling. And I know that there is a word for it, um, but I don't know what the word is. You guys probably know more than I do about that. Now, these loops, energetic loops, is basically cleansing all the way from the crown chakra going into, well, through my body, all through the chakras, into Mother Earth, and then coming out of Mother Earth with clean energy, pure energy, and going right back through. But I picture this as a force field all the way around me continuously, and that way to repel things that just aren't for me, people that aren't for me, whatever, that's fine, um, and allowing anything that is going to be good for me to come close. So. Sometimes we're going to repel people, right? And that's a good thing. Um, you are divinely shielded. One thing I want to mention with that last like energetic thing that I personally do for myself is a protective shield. I also like to do it, by the way, when I go to bed at night. It just helps me feel better. Um, it helps to really put up that intention, that protection, whatever you want to call it. One thing my guide showed me is that um, the little like infinity symbol popped on its side. So those energetic energy lasers, threads, whatever you want to call them, energy lights that I picture in my head, um, my guides showed me how to, if you zoom in on them like microscopically, they are little infinity symbols, so infinitely protected. And I was really appreciative of that message personally. So if that resonates with you, feel free to, um, you know, use that idea as well. If it doesn't, that's okay as well. Okay. Taurus. So I want to tie this in together for you for the month of August. What's going on here for Taurus? Let's tie in all these trigger statements, but more importantly, these mantras, they could be new mantras. Like I am true to my highest self right here, right now, everything is perfect and I'm strong. So Friday, the 13th reading, August reading, for Taurus. How do we tie this in? I'm getting two cards. I only pulled one for the other signs, but what is crossing now? Rest and rejuvenation, the number 19. These are energy cards, okay? Maybe you go through extremes where you get a lot of rest, you get no rest, a lot of rest, no rest, things like that. You're out of balance, okay? So try to taper that, temper that any way that you can with maybe perhaps a little meditation that's gonna help you. And then, yeah, contract. So maybe a lot of these trigger statements have to do with old contracts. And you are going to be looking at your contracts, whether it's a marriage, a divorce, a partnership, a friendship. That's a contract too, by the way. Um, we have contracts with our family, how we speak to our family, how we interact with them, how we allow them to interact with us, with friends. All of those things are even unspoken contracts, but they could be for all intents and purposes written in stone because we allow things, okay? So maybe a lot of these things, true statements, have to do with a contract and you feeling energetically off and on this month. So grounding is going to be very, very important. Your root chakra, again, pursue that, which is the juiciness in your heart and allow spirit to give you downloads, okay? So with much love and much respect, Taurus, namaste.